Hi guys, welcome to another video. So I totally, I totally have so much to do on my film queue and again I get interrupted. What's new? By the fact that the gold palette came back in stock and I didn't even know it was out of stock just because I've had it ever since it first came out. So I didn't even realize it had been out of stock and people were wanting it so much. After seeing a lot of other YouTubers talk about how it was back, I am gonna go back and film a video using this to make a look. I have filmed one video before using this and it is on my channel, but it is very old at this point. It's old, so I thought I would just kind of do another look with this and just like kind of, you know, show off what it looks like in case you guys are still deciding if you want it or not. Uh, uh, the rumor is, the theory is that this is going to be the last restock, which means it will be gone forever after it goes out of stock, which would be a real shame because like a lot of other YouTubers, I do really like this. It's actually still my favorite Natasha Denona palette ever. Now, have I actually used it all that many times? Not really, but I just, this is one of my most sentimental pieces in my collection for some reason, so I just really enjoy having it and I would recommend it. So I thought I would do a quick little get ready with me using this. Now in that video, I did a blue and gold look. So I used a lot of these blue shades to make. I stuck mostly to like this side of the palette. This side of the palette is pretty pedestrian. It's like this nine pan arrangement here that really sells the palette for me. So the reason I got the gold palette is almost entirely because of these three shimmers down here. So I know it's going to be like almost like I'm repeating the look I did on my channel over a year ago, but I'm probably just going to do that again because that is really my favorite way to use this palette is, is like that. <laughs> I know, very boring, but that's just how I like it and I want to see how the cream to powder matte has held up after me having it for what like a year? I can't remember. I didn't get it like on on release. I got it during a sale but it, I've had it for at least a year. It is in the evening, 9 at night, <laughs> so I'm going to be using a hydrating primer to prep my skin for this video. I'm using the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. Yeah, it comes in this really cute pink bottle, so it's really nice. And then of course I need to prep my eyes, especially because it is at night, my eyes are going to be pretty dry. If you hear random noises, I have the kittens out to play. I don't really, I mean, I know I'm like filming, so I know technically I guess it's not, I shouldn't have the kittens out while I'm playing, but they get to come out and play every evening, so I'm not gonna lose them the opportunity just because I'm filming a lot later than normal. I also did briefly want to mention that Ruffer very, very kindly sent me a box of stuff. They sent me the holiday collection, which looks like this right here. Now I've already taken these brushes out of their packaging, and then I had stuck them back in the cardboard box to bring upstairs. So if you see any scraggly hairs, it's because I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, so the scraggly hairs you might see are the fault of me mishandling these brushes, not because of any situation. But what I'm more excited about and what I will be using today is they, they sent me at 28, which is kind of meant for like cream shadows. So this actually might have some promise for me and my metallic woes. So yeah, these are the four brushes that Ruffer sent me. Thank you, Ruffer. I'm definitely going to try and use at least some of these in the video today to see what I think about them. Obviously, I usually test them for a lot longer than that before deciding what my opinion is on them, but I just wanted to let you guys know. And no, I'm not an affiliate or anything. They just very kindly do appreciate getting my feedback, so. I'm going to use the Espoir B Glow Foundation in the shade Vanilla. Uh, given that it's so late at night and my skin's pretty dry today, I'm just going to use this and then I'll just powder it down. I'm not going to use too much. I only put a little bit on the back of my hand. I just don't really feel like wearing very much foundation right now. And I am well aware that you can see I have a friend on the middle of my nose, but I don't, I'm just going to let it be. I tried to kind of puncture it and extract it and that didn't work and it just made it red. So am I still probably going to do it again in the future if a similar one pops up? Yes, because I'm not very smart. But. And I'm just using, I forgot to wet a sponge and I'm too lazy to go wet, a, wet my sponge now that I'm sitting down. So I'm just using a cushion puff to get it spread out. And I find most Korean foundations, they work really well with both cushion puffs and sponges. So, and this one is spreading out fine. And the fact that the puff is dry means that it's kind of mattifying the foundation a little bit. I have a trio of new friends on my chin as well. I just have not, I've had a, at this point, it's been several months since I've really ever had a period where my skin was completely clear. I'm definitely really bummed about that. Uh, my skin usually looks pretty good, but it's been in really rough shape for the past, ever since the summer. It's probably just stress related. And I'm just taking what's left on the puff to pat it on my forehead. Again, I'm just too lazy to put on a ton of foundation right now. I find the Below foundation honestly has actually pretty good coverage for a Korean foundation. So I feel like this looks fine. I just, I didn't really put any on my nose just because I don't want to irritate my zit too much. So it's mostly my cheeks that are covered. I think that's fine. I'm just using my JX Professional Triple Concealer. Oh, 
Okay, my under eye bags are pretty concealed. I didn't try to cover them up too much, just enough that they're not a distraction. I'm going to take this buffing brush from Refer and take it into the Shantikai Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. I'm wondering how this will function. I know this is kind of meant for like foundations, but I am curious as to how it'll function just as a powder brush. And this is a pretty dense formula. You definitely need a denser brush to pick up product. So it does feel pretty nice. Um, it's like very slightly scratchy, so I couldn't really see myself rubbing it across my face. I feel like it would make my face feel kind of itchy, but just pressing it into my face, which is how I always apply my powder, feels fine. And it applied the powder on really, really well. Bear in mind how dry and sensitive my skin is, how prone it is to flaking, that my face brushes have to be almost obscenely soft. So whenever I'm working with powders where it's like a pressed or baked or just like more, or it's just like more harder pressed than other things, you know, if the brush is too is soft enough to not itch my face, it frequently can be too soft to even pick up enough product for me to notice. So I do kind of have to compromise between it feeling a little bit scratchy and actually being able to apply product to my face. I'm not sure how much it's going to cost, so depending on the price will definitely change how I recommend it, so I'm not giving any final verdicts yet. I'm going to use the NARS Smudge Proof Eye Base. First time I used it, I did not like it at all, but subsequent times I've used it, it suddenly is like fine, so still using it. I have begun to put on eyeshadow primer before I do eyebrows, just to give the primer time to kind of, you know, set down and just do its thing. Yeah, today it's not drying out my eyelids at all. I'm not so sure why I had such a terrible experience with it the first time I used it. Like, the first time I used it, I was really mad that I bought it. Like, I genuinely thought I had wasted my money. I bought this full price because it was 10x points. Subsequent uses, I suddenly think it's really great, so I'm not really so sure what happened there. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't try things once, I guess. And then I'm gonna use my NYX brow pen. I have used this once before and I really liked it, so I'm just I'm just gonna keep using it. <laughs> it's in the shade black. And yeah, you can see here the fine lines it's able to create. I feel like this is really great, especially for the price. It was $11, so that's gonna be $7 less than the brow flick and $11 less than the ABH brow pen. So far, so good. Okay, so now let's get into what I was so excited for. I just really sped through my base there. Let's first go in with, I'm gonna first go in with the shade up here. I think this will be good just to kind of set the tone and everything. I know, super boring. This shade is called Aria. I do have the mini gold as well. It is, I find, personally, I find it to be like a completely different palette than gold, which I think is fun. Definitely have really different feels, so it's fun. I'm just popping this pretty much all over my eyelid, but I'm kind of letting it not be in the inner corner too much. I feel like my eyes are too close together for me to put dark shadow on the inner part of my eyelid. I feel like it just brings my eyes too close together. Doesn't that already just look so pretty? Like you could almost just end the look right there and be like, haha, I'm done. Of course I'm not doing that, but I'm just gonna put it on my lower lash line as well. I don't really like how she has the plastic sheet thing. I definitely am glad her packaging has since more or less changed. I wonder if she's discontinuing her older palettes so that she can bring them back in the updated packaging. That would be something. That does sound like something a brand would do. Like I wonder if she's gonna get rid of Leela Star and everything and then she's just gonna repackage them so that they match the packaging of, of everything she's doing these days where everything is just in plastic because people definitely like that way better, like me included. All right, so I am now going to to work with. I do really want to use this shade again, so I am going to do that. Not so sure how it'll go per se. I'm a little scared, but I do want to try it. It swatched fine when I swatched it yesterday, so it didn't feel dried out. Um, I know this was like one of her first cream to powders, so. And I do remember some people were saying it's like they didn't like this cream to powder. Uh, I know some people were saying that her cream to powder formula has since gotten better. I mean, I kind of like her cream to powder formula, but I'm not very good at using eyeshadow, so sometimes I find it a little difficult to work with. That being said, today is working out really well. Maybe I've improved a little since the last time I used it. That would be nice. I'm just gonna be doing kind of my new favorite way to do a look these days, which is where the eyeshadow takes on this shape right here. Sorry if that bores you guys, but if you have mono lids, maybe try this shape too. Well, it's going on really easily today, so and I'm slowly working it 
towards the inner part of my eyelid. It's working out really well today. Yeah, there's like almost no fallout at all to speak of. Okay, that does look really nice. Um, I feel like, I guess the biggest criticism people had was that they couldn't quite get the shade to sew up super true to pan. Like it always ended up looking a little bit lighter. I can totally agree with that sentiment. Now, of course, given the age of this palette, it could also just be drying out, but at the same time, it still felt really usable and malleable and like just blendable and everything. So I'm gonna go back in with some Aria and work on blending out the top. I already messed up a little bit, oh well. You can see I took the python up a little higher than I intended. I feel like I always do something like this. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and use a different denser brush because I really, I need this to be able to get darker and I need to wash my brushes anyways, so I'll just use this. Yeah, so it's not building up super, like, um, here is the pan. You can see it definitely pull, looks a lot darker than what's on my eye. However, it still looks really pretty, so I'm not really complaining or anything. I'm gonna take a little bit on my lower lash line. For using an eyeshadow applicator, I think it looks pretty good, honestly. And I am gonna go ahead and just kind of really make sure that this is intense. Okay, so that is what it is looking like right now. Definitely really nice. Let's work on the other eye. I'm getting a lot less fallout when I tap my brush off, so <laughs> pretty simple solution. Alright, this is what the eyes are looking like now. This eye definitely is a little bit cleaner than this eye, which got a little bit messy. As again, with this left eye, I am still going to go into a little bit of Aria and just kind of make sure that the top is blended. And there we go. That is what it's looking like now. Now it's time for definitely my favorite part is going to be these shimmers. So I think in my last look, I used, I think I used this one. I'm going to use this one today. Or maybe I use that one. I don't know. They all have dips in them at this point, so who knows. But I'm excited to test out the Ruffer 28. So I'm going to go in with Lime Chrome. And I'm going to use this on the inner part of my upper lash line. I might go in with Aurora on the other part. Like, I might, like, do a transition of two metallics. We'll see how I'm feeling. Ooh. The application... So this brush, first of all, felt so soft. But when I applied it to my eyelid a lot more payoff than I was expecting. So that is a really great sign for this brush. And now her metallics, I was swatching them yesterday and they feel like they haven't aged ever since the first day I got them. They still look amazing and they still feel the same. And you can see once I start letting it layer over the blue how it really changes. It is such a pretty shade. I'm gonna go in with my finger, I always do, just to kind of make sure everything is packed on nice. Like once I've established where it is, I'll stick within that boundary with my finger and I just want to make sure that it is super, super intense. I also use this as a good lit litmus test to see how much more intense it becomes after I use my finger to see how much the brush did lay down. And I'm gonna go in with Aurora and we're gonna put that right next to the first shade called Lime Chrome. And I'm just gonna put it right here. And again, it is layering on so well. I love how Lime Chrome and Aurora mix when you put them together. They produce just such a beautiful blue-green effect. This palette is just so pretty. And I'm not getting very much metallic fallout. I am tapping my brush off, so of course I'm sure that helps. Here is what the eyes are looking like. It is so pretty. I love how this looks. Now I have to replicate this on the lower lash line, so for that I'm just gonna have to continue to use my applicators because I don't have any lower lash line brushes available right now. They're all dirty. So I'm just gonna use my applicators and we're just gonna do the same thing but on the lower lash line. Honestly, applicators are underrated. They do apply eyeshadows really well though. And that is what the eyes look like now. I am going to go ahead and now, this is one of my favorite shades in the entire palette. It is one of her like topper shades. It's called Sparks. She hasn't really done shades like this in a while, probably because other people didn't like them, but I really like them. So I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight. Now, because of how translucent it is, it really makes for a really subtle inner corner highlight. You really are supposed to use it to top other things, but I want to use it as an inner corner highlight today, so I will. It is super chunky, so this shade... <laughs> definitely has fallout. It has a real- and then I'm gonna just kind of use it to just kind of top off my middle of my eyelid- eyelash- eyelid. I am also gonna take it on my finger and I am gonna kind of pop it here to add a little bit more dimension. 
I am now going to work on the eyelashes. This obviously is going to need some false lashes, so I'm going to do that off camera, however, and then I'll be back and we'll finish up the face. Okay, lashes are on. Always takes me much longer than expected, but I think my lash glue might be expiring. Like, I really do think I need to get some new lash glue, but whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the rest of my face. Um, I did put on my doe lashes morning dew. I'm just, you know, I just rewear them until they're worn out. So, and, but, you know, I feel like they can match just about any look that I do. They are really pretty and flared, which is what I like. So I have this buxom blush that I got from 21 Days of Beauty that I need to try out. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to be using it with my, one of my refer holiday brushes. Now, I feel like these are all complexion brushes not necessarily like color product brushes but so this is just a really pretty kind of pink color the one i really wanted had sold out by the time i got into it i might have picked up too much on my brush oops all right let's see how this works but you know it got such rave reviews and so when i learned that it was half off i really wanted to get it and evidently i wasn't the only one thinking that considering that the shade that i really wanted had sold out by the time i got around to buying it it is really pigmented so do watch out for that i definitely went in with a little bit too much but i know andrea and kathleen lights both love this blush so it looks so beautiful so i like it too yeah, this is really pretty. That is such an- this is such a beautiful blush. Okay, now I really want more shades. But like, I don't really want to pay full price for those shades, but at the same time, I really want more shades. Oh, this is beautiful. This is really pretty. Oh my gosh, I love how this looks. This is- this is amazing. I love this shade. Next, I could use some bronzer. How did I already get cat hair in something I've never opened? I bought a couple more shades of the bronze and blushing duos during 21 Days of Beauty, so I'm just gonna use this one in the shade Warm Flush Golden Goddess. I thought I had accidentally bought all three in the same color. I had not. They just looked that similar. And I was just like, I actually was astounded at how similar they all looked. Could I have found this out by watching, for example, Samantha Ravindall's YouTube video, which by the way, I did watch. I could have, but at the same time, I like firmly believed that the shades would look different and I wanted to believe that <laughs> I could use more of the shades. Um, yeah. I am definitely glad I got them half off. The formula is nice. I'm I'm probably still gonna hold on to all of them. I am going to go in with ozone, this shade right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and use brush 32 for this just because I actually think this will be the perfect size for me to just pop a little bit right on my cheekbone. I know I'm like totally not using it for the right purpose. This brush is super soft and feels amazing. And then just a little bit on the bridge of my nose as usual. This doesn't really emphasize the texture of the breakouts I have going on right now, so it is really, really cool formula. And then a little bit on my chin, and that will be the highlighter. I'm gonna line my lips with M Cosmetics Fawn. And I zoomed out a little bit so that you can actually see me put it on this time, because I know I go off camera most of the time when I'm doing this. And now I have a much more pronounced lower lip, which is how I like it. Now I have a pretty dramatic eye on, so I do want to keep my lips pretty low key. That being said, I still think a little bit more of like a bricky tone will work. So I'm going to be using this Peri Peri Ink Stick Serum in the shade 5. I love the packaging of this. I really want to get all the rest of the shades just because the packaging is so pretty. I just did a really big lip declutter, so I might. Um, I don't usually film when I get rid of stuff, but... I guess if you guys want to see a video where I talk about what I got rid of, just let me know. And I love the consistency of this formula. I think it's really nice. And like most peri para products, the lip products are like super cheap, so. And now I just need to blend out the lip a little bit. So I am going to take this brush here and just kind of... And that is what it looks like now. Maybe a little bit too red, but I think it's fine. All right, and this is going to be the finished look. I love how it turned out. Again, the gold palette is back in stock. I don't know if it'll come back. I don't know if it's being like actually discontinued or if it's just going to be discontinued and repackaged. I uh, So if you guys want to get it, definitely get it before it sells out. Uh, the VIB Rouge sale thingy starts in early November. Don't know if it'll still be around for like a whole month, but you know, maybe, maybe not. So you guys take that gamble for what you will. If you guys want to get it, then get it. I feel like the gold palette kind of marks her shift of when she started really becoming a much more consistent brand that appealed to a lot more people. Um, I, as you guys know, I don't have Safari anymore. Safari came out before gold and 
before that, she was kind of super hit or miss from what people said. Gold, I feel like, really kind of marks her ascension almost. Um, so I do really want Leela and Star. I, I want Leela mostly just because I just wanted it at this point. I know people don't like it, but at the same time, I still want it. She stealth reformulated Star like a year ago at this point, and Temptalia said the reformulation is super worth it, so I do want that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I need to keep filming, so I'm gonna log off for now. I just hope you just kind of want to share a very quick little makeup tutorial using gold for you guys. I have a lot to film, so not too much else to say. I'll see you guys very soon again. Bye!